1950s permission, owned by a friend of mine, and she has lived here since 1974. She said, this is not a well. She said, this is a cistern. And that's just a decorative planter that was added later on. And I'm just going to explore today. So, but this is the back of the farm. She said that they think, because of what they found when they bought it, that this was originally a dairy farm, but she's not for sure. She doesn't know how old it is, but when I checked the old, old plat maps, this farm dates back before 1872. So, but your property goes back to those uh, evergreens back there, and then the tall hard hardwood trees behind it goes all the way back to those. So we are going to drive back. She said I should be able to drive back with my car. So, see you on the next. A beautiful pile of bittersweet. Let's get a close up of that so you can see. It's like a berry type flower. It's really cool. Whenever it starts to pop open, it just peel the peels make it look like petals. can see that but this is part of the fall colors that we experience in Michigan so pardon the bumpiness I don't really have anything to uh, prop my phone up this is probably gonna be bumpy there's an old trailer or something This is some tall grass. I'm not going to be able to detect easily through that. But the property line just goes maybe, well, where you see that fence right there. That's the neighbor's stuff on the other side of the fence. She said, this is their dump back here, but the previous homeowner was dumping along an old stream bed. And she said, well, shoot the, uh, he could have just been dumping where, you know, the original farm owners dumped their stuff, so. Let's get out. Yeah, this looks like mostly wood items. She said this is where they hauled their down trees and stuff from ice storms that we've had, but oh yeah, I don't see any glass in there. Lots of boards and old trees. There's something hard underneath there. Yeah, it's a beam or something. Now she said down along this tree line there used to be a stream that hasn't run in over 50 years. Looks 
like the deer. This is a well-worn path from the deer. Oh, here's some old, old concrete. Oh, there's metal stuff. What are those? Huh. Some kind of a clamp or something. If you know what those are... Oh, here's another one. If you know what those are, they must have went to this. It's an interesting piece. Anyhow, if you know what these items are, put a note in the comments. Oh, here's another one. There's three of them. I don't see any glass, but there is definitely broken concrete and shingles. Oh, I just heard, ooh, a jar. I just stepped on a jar and broke it. But it's twist top jar, so it can't be that old. I mean, I'd have an idea if it was old, if I was finding old coal, but I'm not, not yet. Like old aluminum foil or aluminum siding, maybe pieces. There. And other metal. That's a piece of ooh piece of glass. Old Pepsi bottle. Not that old. Oops, I just felt something else. I don't know what it was. I should probably have my gloves on. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Some kind of twisted wire. So, I think she's right to use this area as a dump. Somebody did. Need some more. Looks like old bed springs or something. More metal. Bottle. Another old pop bottle. Big old can. Oh, no, it's not a can. Huh. I'm not sure what that is. The lid to something. That's an old beer bottle. Old 16 ounce Pepsi. What is that? Ugh. I need my friend Josh. That looks like, huh, an old rotor maybe? Old Coke bottle. Not to be refilled. 71, 32, and 16. I don't know how you tell on these how old they are. Oh, there's another one. Broken. Plastic. Oh, that reminds me of a Lux dishwashing soap bottle. It's a coffee jar. It almost looks like it has paper in it. No, I guess not. Huh. More metal. That looks like metal fencing there. 
Look at this. That's weird. Look at this old concrete. Well, there's more over there. What is this? Yeah, that's metal. Oh, another pot bottle. Seven up. It's a seven up bottle. Twist top. That reminds me of a mechanism. If I can pull it out, that would go in a door. No, maybe not. I don't know what that is. Huh. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Huh. I don't see any more glass, but that doesn't mean it's not deep. <sighs> concrete. Really gravelly old concrete. It's an old Vienna sausage can. plate glass, but it does not have bubbles in it. An old latch on a piece of wood. The barrel. At first I thought that was slate, but now I don't think so. Huh. Let's see, shaker top four. What's that say? Powers out stains. Changes color. I wonder if that's like Ajax powder. Huh. Lots of concrete back here. Concrete chunks. I don't know what they're from. Well, this is a project in itself, just this section here. Because I'm only about 30 feet where this stream goes into a swamp, or the stream bed is attached to a swamp. So. <coughs> Hey, it's a balmy 50 degrees today. Yay. That's good for end of November. Now that's odd. Do you see what I see? There's a depression, like a hole that's been dug between those trees. Huh. Let's see what that's about. Give me a stick. Because I didn't bring any digging tools. Because I was just going to explore today. There's no open hole there. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Lots of pine needles. is some kind of hole there, but it's like a chipmunk hole. Eh, I don't see anything. I don't know what that is. That's weird. 
Well, I'm going to walk through the trees because this is also her property. And her property goes to that edge of trees all the way to this edge of hardwoods. So, kind of to the left and back. When I looked at the aerial, there's an odd square depression or marks that you can see from the air. So, I'm going to shut the camera off and walk over there and see what I can find. See you in a minute. Closer to the trees at the back of the property, but I'm not finding anything in this field. You know, it, was, it just seemed odd that there was a square that stood out right here. So. Next spring I'll have to come back and metal detect this area and see, you know, if there's a lot of iron signals. There may have been a building here at one time. Okay, let's go explore the edge all the way back to the car. Corner, I'm in these scrub trees on the edge of the property. I just see the fence, the old fence, and like a rock wall that, you know, it's just a few rocks here and there protruding. more. No sign of any more jumps on this side. That's an old tree. That's huge. I think this path is not wide enough for my car. <laughs> so we'll just walk it. which is probably the most modern one on the property. Who knows, it could be on top of what was an old dump, who knows. I'm just walking around the other side. Look at that honeysuckle. It is a monster bush. Oh my goodness. But this is all pushed up odd here. This is on her property. This seems really odd to me why this would be pushed up in piles. Unless they figured it was safer to burn that way, maybe? But I mean, this pile is almost as tall as I am. Try to climb it. I have to keep my balance here. You can do see deer have been walking this ridge of this pile here. That's a big bonfire, let me tell you. It's, it's been building for years and years. I see no trace of any glass anywhere, though. So... When I was talking to my friend, um, she's originally from the South and has family in the South and she said that they always hid things in the outhouse. And they did that during the Civil War too because they didn't want the Northerners, the Yankees, to get their stuff. But she said when they bought the house, there was no trace of an outhouse. So. Well, I'm going to get my car turned around. But at least we know what we're looking at with this permission. So we've got quite a few videos here if the weather will just hold out. Uh, it's about 50 degrees now. So much better than nine degrees, as low as it got one night. So I will catch you on the next video.
Thanks for watching. Bye. This week's shout out goes to YouTube's very own Zero Discrimination. She has a very interesting channel, so go check it out.